In this video I'm going to show you how I made my waxed canvas laptop sleeve. I started out with some black canvas material. I measured out 60 centimeters by 38. and use some sharp fabric scissors to cut it. Next I added a 2cm line across the top width of it. This is going to be the inside lip and I needed to add a hem. I'm using these clips instead of pins as I find them slightly less fiddly. Then I sewed over this hem. At the start of every section I go forward about 3 or 4 stitches, then backwards and carry on forwards. This gives a secure stitch that won't come undone. Turning the sleeve inside out, I measured the fold at 18 centimeters and stitched the two sides together. I then continued the hem along the sides and the top. And now it's actually starting to look like a sleeve. I wanted to cut out corners, so I measured 7cm in from each corner and folded that over. I use my leather slicker tool to poke out the corners. I think there's a proper tool for this, but I'd choose what I had at hand. I'm using this soft cotton as a lining. And so I repeated the exact same steps before and ended up with two identical sleeves. Then I had to wax my canvas. I use natural beeswax. I get all my wax from a company called Livemore. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll have another video coming soon with more details on how to wax your own canvas. I melted down my wax in a slow cooker. I stood a plastic chopping board into the sleeve to stop the two sides sticking together. And once fully liquid, I brush the melted wax straight onto the canvas with a brush. Making sure to get all the edges.
I let it cool down for about 10 minutes. At the moment it doesn't look great, but I took a hairdryer and on its hottest setting, further melted the wax into the canvas. You can use a hot air gun here which gets hotter, but mine caught fire, so I borrowed my wife's hairdryer and it worked just fine. I made sure all the wax was fully melted and let it cool down for about half an hour this time. I used some veg tan leather which was about 1.2mm thick and cut this into two rectangles. I added a groove around the edges where the stitching will go. I then took my favourite brown dye colour and dyed the rectangles. Taking some contact adhesive, I put this on the back of the leather and on the canvas. This glue works best when left out for about 5 minutes, and then put together. I used a scrap bit of felt underneath so I didn't dull my punch, and punched holes around the rectangle of the leather. I did the inside section of the sleeve first before attaching the lining so you wouldn't see this from the inside. I then saddle stitched the leather to the canvas. I found the centre of the leather and punched a hole for the snap fastener. I spent some time getting the lining perfectly in place and slowly worked my way round stitching the lining in. When I got to the corners, I stopped with the needle in the material, then lifted the foot and rotated it. This means I had one nice clean sewn line all the way around. I then did exactly the same to attach the front piece of leather, but this time stitched straight through the lining.
and use my setting anvil to keep the button end of the snap fastener nice and smooth. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe.